our current depth is 165 meters in the Strait of Georgia. Are we zoom now? Or are we still trying to... Right, you can go ahead and zoom on anything you want. Thank you. About the... Yeah, over to the left. Yeah, maybe the upper left. That's a nice spot. Why so are they different colors? Are they, is it like different stages of the life cycle? Or? No, I think they're two different species. It was in the paper. We're just trying to get one of the uh, researchers uh, online here. I am assuming, though, that the gray green ones underneath the what looks like growing sponges are the uh, shells That's of the cool. dead di dead ones because they I build on the skeletons of the yeah, old the ones. Dead skeletons, yeah. yeah, I would think you're probably correct. Back to the question of what makes glass sponges unique. Glass sponges are syncytial. They have action potentials that cause the sponge to arrest pumping. And in other words, feeding. So we talked about glass sponges being filter feed feeders, so they have a mechanism to stop their feeding. Look at that, that's beautiful. Really cool. I'm gonna stop here and I think I have a little bit more lens left, so I'll go in. It's like a little... Little squat lobster yeah. or something. Going in some more. Nice. Very stunning. You can see the pores in the in the tissue as well. Does water move through those pores? Yep. Yeah, cool thing I learned about sponges when I was uh, down off the coast of California. They'll suck water in from the outside, like what we're looking at now, and then shoot it out of the top openings, like in the top left. And that way it's jetting out the already filtered Coming water out. and getting more fresh food supply. That's too, wow, that's tall. You can look up uh, videos of that in action, too. Uh, really? uh, scientists have gone down and used, like, dye. Di oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you can see Looks exactly like where the water is moving. It's really, really cool to watch. That that's awesome. 